What's up, you guys? Gamers, Robert the Bruce here. Today's topic is the ammo dilemma in Battlefield 4. Stay tuned to the end of the video as well because I've got a little trick that can help you with this problem. So what exactly is the ammo dilemma? Well, you run out of ammo quickly. No, it's not because your guns shoot faster or you start with less ammo. The reason it seems like you're always running low too fast is because of one simple thing. When you reload, you lose all remaining ammo that was currently loaded into your gun's magazine. For anyone that doesn't understand this, let me explain. Let's say you accidentally fire off a shot out of your 30 round magazine, leaving you with 29 rounds currently loaded. Plus you have another 60 rounds of backup ammo. In previous Battlefield games, if you reloaded at this point, it would just load one more round into your gun, giving you 30 rounds in your mag and 59 rounds of backup ammo. It would only take one round away. This is not the case in Battlefield 4. They've upped the realism to a new level. So in that same situation, if you reloaded with 29 rounds left in the mag, all 29 rounds would be thrown away. This means after you reload, you'd have a fresh 30 rounds in your magazine with only 30 left of backup ammo. This is obviously how it would be in real life, because if you toss a magazine away with rounds still in it, they're gone. What does this mean for you? Well, it's time to stop and think before you just blindly reload after every time you fire off a few rounds. I go by two rules when I'm debating on reloading, and it's based on the situation I'm in. If I am entering a multiple threat zone, like an objective, where I know there are two or more bad guys running around, I'll make sure that I have at least 20 rounds in my mag. Some guns only hold about 20 rounds, so if I'm using one of those, I'll reload regardless of what ammo I lose. On the other hand, if I'm entering a zone where I don't think the threat is very high, I'll make sure I have at least 10 rounds in the mag. If at any time I have less than 10 rounds, I reload. One last very important point before we get to our reload trick at the end. Pay attention to how many rounds you have left in your backup before you reload. If I've only got 15 rounds in my current magazine, but I see I've only got 18 left as backup, I'm not going to reload. You have to take your rounds remaining into consideration, so you don't end up throwing away the majority of your ammo just to reload with only a few rounds and kind of screw yourself. Finally, we have a reload trick, and to be honest, this isn't really much of a trick, and a lot of players may know this. That being said, I'm sure there are a good amount of you that don't know this, so I figured I'd throw it in. If you're ever starting to reload and you realize that you actually don't want to, you can quickly switch weapons and then switch back to your main gun, and it will cancel the reload. I've developed such a habit of reloading after every kill that this little trick has saved me quite a few times when I would start to reload and then think, oh crap, I only shot four bullets. Having those extra rounds can make all the difference in the world. So saving a reload here and there is quite a useful thing to do. Throw a comment below with your thoughts on this new way of ammo being lost during reloads. Do you like it because it's realistic and it rewards players that actually think? Or do you dislike it because you think it just takes away from the fun? Let me know below because I'm curious to hear what everyone thinks. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.